Summerside Pinch Punch. It's the first day of the month. Yeah. And get this, it's our 50th episode this week. Yeah. Yeah. my pants when that cannon went off. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, they're clean. Uh, right, okay, so the, the main show, they can try as much as they like, but we are not going anywhere, are we? No! Uh, stay tuned if you fancy a bit of this. Oh, they're picking up on everything now, Dexter. Ooh, if you want a slice of this. You can create love just as much as you can create hate. Deep. Oh. Uh, and prepare yourselves for a taste of this. You can People do this. Yet to see when you I go, you, and I, you say you can do this. If Away. you want. I really don't Away. mind. He really doesn't mind. Uh, right, before we get to that, let's meet tonight's panel. First up is the actress and writer who is also Tatler's editor of Fun. Now, we have checked this, and that is actually her job <laughs> title. How brilliant. It's Emma Kennedy. <laughs> Becoming quite the regular on this show, uh, partly due to the fact that he's a big brother treasure and a mega fan, but ultimately it's because we love his big hair. It's Tom O'Connell! <laughs> right, now it's time for the most tenuous link of the series so far. Um, some things are made in Taiwan, some things are made in America, but my final guest is definitely made in Chelsea. I mean, really? Uh, I can only apologise to Ashley James. <laughs> Don't write it, I just say it. Uh, right, we're going to be chatting to the panel in just a minute, but first, the VT team, they're on Camden High Street this week. Um, their little trips are costing us a small fortune, so they better have something good for me this time. Are you there? Let's do our other one that we did there because it didn't go very well. Okay. So let's do that again. Okay, what was that again? Um, we're here from London's Cam Fa fashionable, fashionable Cam yeah, fashionable Camden Town. Yeah, and, and then, then they'll say, yeah. Okay, ready? We. <laughs> them as always shall we talk about the show we just watched yeah. Yeah. Lo loads in tonight's show oh, it was quite yeah. long there was loads of like chats and stuff yeah. going on yeah. and, and deeper meaningfuls from some people mm. uh, so let's start with hazel and dexter who out of nowhere seem to have formed this most unlikely new double act mm. um Where's yes. it come from? <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's come from nowhere. It, it's been bubbling under for quite some time because really? Dexter yeah. Yeah. Uh, has, uh, under the radar, been maintaining very good relationships with all the women in the house. Yeah. Yeah. And he's managed to do that when all the boys ha uh, haven't managed anywhere near that. What, so what, this doesn't surprise how? me at all. How has he done it? What well, is it I, about Dexter? I think he's actually quite charming. I mean, I know he has sort Put of the... the gab. I, I know he has the undercurrent of a Bond villain, <laughs> and, and I slightly wish that he was given an underground lair and a monorail, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> not on Channel 5. That's, they haven't not got the budget 5. for a monorail. No. But, but he, he has very cleverly managed to just keep the girls on his side. I mean, if you think about the fact that, that he is... That, that Gina, who is his sort of closest ally in the yeah. house, is arch rivals with Hazel, and he's able to have yeah. a working relationship with the pair of them without either of them minding. Yeah. That tells me he must be a very charming young man. Yeah. Can, can we have you on all the time? <laughs> because you're coming up with shit I've never yeah. even thought well, of. Well, when I think well, about well, this here's something else well. for you to think about Dexter. He's a grown man with the hands of a ventriloquist puppet. <laughs> <laughs> They're tiny! They are, aren't They're they? So I tiny, do know, I know tiny hands! I know, I know. <laughs> that the other day. Emma's brilliant. Uh, right, Hazel has said uh, in tonight's show that there's no intellect left in the house, um, and Dexter said that they were made of different stuff to the others. Uh, do you agree, Tom? Are they different? Um, they are, well, they're all different, aren't they, obviously? Um, but I think 
what what intelligence are we talking about here? Because Dexter's intelligence in the sense that he's very savvy, but I don't think Hazel's actually intelligent at all because um, she's moaning about being called a bitch and a snake, but then she goes and bees a bitch and bitches about people. If she was being intelligent, she would think, well, hang on, this is what people don't like about my behaviour. Maybe I should mm. adapt. But then maybe she's thought that... You know, I can't change anything now, so what's the point? It's quite far down the line to, yeah. to suddenly start being a different way. And, and, you know, we've seen Callum kind of be different people possibly and Dexter, and they, they get second guess for it all the time, don't they? Yeah. So maybe she's just kind of going... And she's not intelligent enough to develop another persona, is she? What do you lot think? Yeah, they're, they're not... Happy 100, Paul! Thank you very much! <laughs> We've done 69 together. Shows, shows. <laughs> you didn't know You've that, been dying to say that, I haven't have, you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, I think they, they think they're more intelligent than they, than they are. Yeah. But, I mean, Hazel, she is good-looking. She is quite intelligent from the, uh, the normal sort of page three sort of girl. But um, how amazing would it be if she survives tomorrow? Wow. Well, we're talking about that later. Okay. Let's not talk about that now. Um, they've had, uh, they've had plenty, of, plenty of run-ins in the past. Uh, she called him a weasel, do you remember? Yeah. Really didn't like him not that long ago. Um, is this going to be the start of a new friendship? Are we going to see this, Ashley, continue, do you think, between the two of them? Yeah, I think throughout her time in the house, Hazel's always had to have one male companion like I don't think she's very good in group so I think that's why she gets frustrated and maybe bitches about the other housemates because I think she likes to be center of attention and so when they're playing games that don't involve her then she likes to kind of pair up with one person in particular so she had it with Daly then Dan and I think now Dexter's her new companion and I think they both have enemies in the house for whatever reason she's got Gina and they've yeah. got Callum and they're both kind of fed up with the situation so I think they're coming together okay. a little bit. Good talkers on the panel tonight, yeah. I'm liking this. Uh, do you want to see if they were bitching this morning or not? Yeah. Let's have a look. All that Mr Nice Guy stuff. Yeah. All all gone out the window. Mm. So who's got the game plan then now then? Mr Stay on the mm. Fence for two weeks and then fuck. Mm. Yeah, it's because we've all been calling him Mr Too Nice. I hope they put that sharpie in soon. You can tell her, Joe. Just, just, just have to tell her in a different way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. if she starts feeling sorry for him and then trusts him next week and then gets mm. turned over. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Him next yeah, week. yeah you bad. see? You yeah. see? Don't, just don't tell anyone. Yeah, true. <laughs> Could you be any more tired of everybody in here? Nice glasses he's wearing, though, I mm. thought. Uh, right, another pairing that was highlighted in tonight's show was Sam and Sophie, for slightly different reasons, obviously, mm -hmm. because they've got this kind of yeah. weird thing going on. Yeah. Um, so what, Tom, is mm -hmm. Sophie's problem with Sam, do you think? I think Sophie's, Sophie's a really nice person. I think she's actually a people pleaser. We always see her cutting people's hair, yeah. pandering to people, cooking, cleaning. It's like and the sister of the house. Yeah, she is. And I think her problem with Sam is that he hasn't found a connection with her. He's kind of apathetic towards her. And I think it irritates her that he has no stronger, strong opinion on her. And I think the fact that she can't please him irritates her. That's, That's a good just, point. just my opinion. Just, <laughs> just my opinion. Your humble opinion. What yeah. do you lot think? What's going on there? Oh. <laughs> me. Which one do I go to? <laughs> me. Don't me. fight. It's me. <laughs> I think that what, what she's realised, because she said it in tonight's show, that they, they started off as similar, and I think that Sam is her direct competition. Yes. So I think that she's a little bit jealous and of Sam. And she's yes. so competitive. Yes, and she's... Oh, oh my God. She's so competitive. Look at her yesterday when they lost the task. She was, she was not happy. She wanted to yeah. win, win, win. Yeah. She is so competitive. And Sam so is... So do you Sam's... think she wants to win, win, win? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Her evil yes. side comes out. She's the evil sister, not a good sister. I don't, I don't say she's evil. She's definitely no, not evil. Yeah, she's not evil, but, but it's it's quite interesting that since they were put in the safe house, and that was their first indication that, that the other housemates clearly think either of them is going to win, right. and that was vocalised, yeah. that she has started, her, her opinions about Sam has started to shift from, from pretty much indifference, because she didn't really pay much attention, to suddenly her focus is on him. This is my competition. And yeah. thinking this is my competition. Yeah. Ooh. OK, we've, we've, got to, we've got to move on, I'm sorry. Uh, OK, so in the words of Hazel, the level of conversation has hit the floor. 
in here. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't really. Um, if you want to have your stay and be part of the studio audience and, and lift it up a notch, uh, then details are on your screen now of how you can get in touch. Uh, still to come, we've got loads more house exclusives, plus everyone's favourite gladiator turn live coach Diane Udale is going to be here. We love her coming yeah, in. Yeah. Uh, but first, the cult continues tomorrow with yet another housemate being given the chop. Who goes? You shine! <laughs> This week, Callum, Dexter, Hazel and Jack and Joe all face a public vote. Who goes? You decide. From a landline call 090 2050 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. From a mobile call 650 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. For Callum, add 01. For Dexter, add 05. For Hazel, add 07. For Jack and Joe, add 08. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. And for full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash BB vote. Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the, bit on the Fight. <laughs> I am slightly hungover. Uh, big words about on the side. Now, news, uh, Justin, you can uh, pre-order Gina's book and pre-order sales have actually gone through the roof. So I'm going uh, to give you a little taster because I know you like things like that. So you can get things like uh, Cristal Champagne and uh, Ferrero Rocher, <laughs> which we know she really likes, and uh, chili-infused lager pasta. <laughs> Which is uh, it's a favourite of mine, actually. I had some last night. Uh, let's switch. There you go. Uh, okay. Oh, it's ever so hot. Uh, it's time for an exclusive. Um, here it is. <laughs> How can you not like someone because they spent £18,000 on rent? That's just jealousy. You just don't like them just for that reason. She hasn't got anything else to back that up. If she said, oh, I have no connection with Gina, fine. It's cool, because I don't really want to connect with you either. People love to hate, Gina. They do. Yeah. They really, really They love do. to hate. Yeah, I hate that. I hate you that. You can create love just as much as you can create hate. Gosh. Trust me when I say that. Because you can. You can go out if you want and want to, and to be hated. And sometimes you can... Like, hate is just a different form of love. Yeah. Really? It, it, there's a fine, fine, fine line. When you love someone, they're always in your heart. When you hate someone, they're, they're always, always in on your mind. mind. Deep. Very deep. Uh, right, time now for our weekly catch-up uh, with an expert who knows exactly how to analyse and assess our housemates' behaviour. Here's hoping my questions don't eliminate her. No. Sneaky little gladiator reference. Uh, please welcome life coach and psychotherapist Diane Udale. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Shopping tasks. Yes. Uh, what did you think of it, and did it bring back memories? Oh yes. Apart from Jack's farts, it was pretty much bang on for how we were as gladiators. Oh, I have funny to watching say. you say the word farts. <laughs> Don't know you why. It's amusing me. Um, but no. And Charlie did a great job as well. Every time she was like three, two, one. I must admit, it was kind of Bleh. got a little tingle. Oh, not great. But another genius task as well. Um, do you think it was? clever of them to give them alter egos absolutely an alter ego allows us to act out a part of ourselves but what this did for us is it allowed the, all the unresolved stuff to start simmering back to the surface as a kind of the embers being poked whether we get a pilot light or a flame will be the fallout over the next 12 hours 24 hours or whatever so they get to say what they really think in character. Yes. They're feeling like they're not doing it themselves. Oh, it stirs up for them stuff mid-task, particularly if some of them are quite physical. And um, you'll see the sort of the fallout afterwards, um, whether it becomes verbal or not, it's another thing. OK, uh, the pairings were obviously chosen for a reason, and uh, people pitted against it, 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 <laughs> just can't speak tonight, <laughs> uh, against each other. Is there going to be an after-effect of how they've been pitted against each other? Yeah, I mean, I think Sophie was questioning why her and Sam are put together. I mean, it's, all the pairings were fairly obvious to us because there's been some stuff go on, and it was a chance for it to kind of go, well, could this go any further for the next few days and weeks that we have them together? And if so... 
it'll start to come out. So it was a good catalyst. OK, let's talk about the pairing. So yeah. uh, first up, in the ring, there was Hotshot Hazel versus Gina, Princess Warrior. <laughs> um, what did you get from watching them? Um, first of all, the physiology of Gina and, and Hazel together uh, showed that Hazel's slightly more tenacious. Yes, Gina quipped at the end that you've got a few more pounds on me to be able to deck me. Which she's was, got... She's very quick with those one-liners, isn't she? And that's what she's got. That She plays to her strengths with that. But Hazel's kind of enjoying, because she likes the physical rough and tough, and she was getting her down by using her body weight and getting it beneath her. So her natural tenacity physically is actually there and was played out quite well for us. Why do they clash? so much um, because they, recently they, they, you kind of see them chatting and getting on but yeah. there is a you know there's a dislike isn't there right people get on when their values are shared and their values are similar at the very core of us we've got our Eid our identity who we think we are then just above that we have our values and they're pretty much set throughout our lives from our parenting may change when we become parents ourselves or we lose somebody and then just above that we have our beliefs and our beliefs are how we go about our value both girls value money. We all do, but some value money and believe they need to steal for it or they believe they need to work hard for it. Right. And that's the clash with these two. Gina's background is different to Hazel's worked hard. So there's going to be that, that clash, clash in terms of values and beliefs. OK, let's talk about Sam and Sophie, who've had yeah, kind of a <laughs> silent war going on, and which we've kind of just been talking about as well. Uh, let's, just, let's just take a look at it. I'm going to take you in that ring and I'm going to redecorate that wrestling ring with your face. And sometimes I just want to throw an eye on you because you really need to straighten yourself out. <coughs> I'm not being funny or anything, mate, but I don't know who you are. You look like Keith Lemon, and there's a reason you've been put up with a girl, because you can't take on men. I promise you now, I'll make you look like the mug you are. Ooh. 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 What did you think <laughs> when you watched that? <laughs> Watching it more closely, there's so many layers in that, isn't there? Uh, there's a lot of unresolved stuff between the pair of them, more so because Sophie, has, who has great traits, also doesn't have the patience a lot of the time to communicate, as we saw in the safe house, <laughs> effectively with Sam, because Sam does have a... In terms of communication, he needs people to slow down or at least engage with him on a depth that he yeah. can understand, because yeah. he's got lots of layers and he can communicate quite deeply. Um, but there was all sorts of little kind of frisson there as well, and I don't know if there's anything never been played out in terms of that because they are the babies together yeah. and they are of a similar age group but there's no chemistry but he does try it with everybody too do you think it was a good idea to have the trash talking yes because in terms of physicality we're not always going to get a good match and i think it's nice that people can get to speed and use the words that they do have mm. sam does have a great series of one-liners and we had the chance because he had his platform and we all sat, sat still and we listened, which he doesn't always get chance to in the house. Um, we saw Big Brother at the end give uh, the the people that had won their bouts uh, twenty pounds yeah. of their own yeah. to shop with <laughs> and buy whatever they Ooh. want on the shopping list. Um, is that going to affect? everybody else in the house do you think not at all i think if they were still on chickpeas and rice right. it would affect them but there's the, the the moment they've not gone without there's no great discomfort at this stage in the game a lot of them are doing a lot of mid distance stairs they're wanting to have a lot more fun together yeah. because they're beginning to calculate tomorrow's another big night we're going to lose another one then it'll be me then it'll be me yeah. they're kind they're of the preoccupations the in yeah. there we can see it hovering over the whole lot of them okay dan thank you so thank much you. dan you dale everybody <laughs> I'll be chatting with the friends and family of this week's nominees. But first, time to see what Hazel, Dexter, Callum and the twins had to say when we ask them your questions in the diary room. Oh, I've got to lean a little bit. Hello, housemates. Hello. 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 Callum, will you and Sam carry on your bromance outside the house? Yep, we will. We are going to... I'm going to go to Wales and Henneke and he's going to come down to Maystone and we're both going to hit London together too. Very succinct. Hazel? Mm -hmm. Now Dan has left, do you feel close to anyone in the house? Obviously, even when Dan was here, I do miss Dan a lot. Um, yeah, you, you, Dan isn't easily replaced, but I'm very close to the two boys, um, and they're doing a very good job mm. keeping me company. <laughs> Jack and Joe, yeah. um, if you had to choose between having Carvery with Westlife or a free pass to the final, which would you choose and why? 
I'll go for Carver and Westlife, two things I love most, really. <laughs> Carvery oh. and Westlife, because we've wanted to, we've wanted Yeah, we've, we've always wanted to wanted Westlife. Wanted to when we sat in the O2 last year at the top, like singing You Raise Me Up and me like crying, oh. I was just like, I'd love to see these people, like talk to them, and then we got to speak to Shane, which was and what, be, and what better way to meet them than by sitting around and having a Carvery? Dexter? Yes. Why have you slept in that onesie since you went in without <laughs> washing it? <laughs> Now, Dexter. <laughs> it's hard to wash a onesie because there's no tumble dryer. James done it. I've done it a couple of times. It's more of a comfort blanket. Filth bag. Housemates, who do you think has the biggest game plan in the house and what could it be? Dexter. I ain't gonna lie, it's Dexter. Because <clears throat> he went through the stage of make friends, make other people fall out if possible for his own entertainment. Then he went through the second stage of the game plan is sensitive, crying, Oh no, what have I done? I don't want to be a villain anymore. And the third stage is shiny knight out of the, out of the back end of the torturous ordeal he's been through. I personally think the Callum's the person in here with the with the biggest game plan. Everything with him has been sort of pre-planned from from the off. So, you know, that's my personal opinion. Like he's got his personal opinions <laughs> about me. We're never really going to get on. So I personally think Callum is is the one with the biggest game player and. You know, it's it's icy, icy. Perfect, perfect game plan. I wanted to be eighth in that lineup out of nine, didn't I? Perfect game plan. I'm doing really well. It's very serious, isn't it? Yeah. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. enjoy the sunshine. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. What a furious voice. <laughs> The TV series that's just like the Charlie, Dexter and Callum love triangle. We go on and on and on and on. Are you still with us? Yeah. Good. Uh, right, after a slight hiccup earlier on, I've been reliably informed. <laughs> it's a hard word! Uh, that the VT team have sorted themselves out. Why is everybody laughing at me? Uh, and that they're ready to report from Camden High Street. Please don't let me down like I'm letting you down. <laughs> Um, so, you're a massive fan of Big Brother? Uh, you mean of uh, the George Orwell book? I certainly am. Big Brother, the TV show? I think it eats shit. Okay. Um, so, but you're a big fan of Orwell? Yes, I'm a tremendous fan of, uh, of Orwell's. Just not such a fan of the Endemol show that we work for? Well, the show that you work for, unfortunately, is just, you know, it's, it's just another example of people, people being so infected with the idea that if you're not a celebrity, you have no life. That's true, and there is a lot of infection. The, even some of the people, uh, you know, some of the politicians uh, and people like that that you've had on there, you know, they seem to be grasping for nothing more than a, a greater share of fame. I mean, is there a single coherent idea that has ever come out of your series? <laughs> How dare he! But let's put him in the house. He'd be brilliant, wouldn't he? Uh, OK, so tomorrow night sees the sixth eviction of this series, and it's all to play for. But who's going to get the boot? Callum, Hazel, the twins, or Dexter? To help me find out a little bit more about them are four people who know them really, really well. Please welcome Callum's sister, Karis, Dexter's friend, Gina, Hazel's friend, uh, Hazel's friend Ali, that's right, uh, and the twins' cousin, Laura! <laughs> I think we can only start in one place, and that is the uh, non-stop bitchathon. Uh, that is the Dexter and Callum non-friendship. Uh, so, so let's start with you, Cass. Why do you think they don't like each other so much? I think they're from completely different backgrounds, but actually Callum would never intentionally not like anyone, and right. Dexter has given him so many reasons not to like him, and actually <laughs> Dexter's just jumped on the bandwagon from what Jackie started, what Dan took over, and now Dexter is carrying on with that with constant confrontation um, and basically just being mean to Callum and stabbed him in the back big time by trying it on with Charlie, which actually I'm quite relieved about because I don't want Callum near her. <laughs> you were really nervous a second ago, and now you're <laughs> absolutely fine. Um, Gina, why do you think they don't get on? I mean, like Carrie said, they are from very different backgrounds, yeah. um, and I think they're both competing for like the alpha male role of the house now. Um, but I do actually think if it weren't for the Charlie thing, they'd be getting on quite well. I really do think that. Um, I just think Callum's pride's been hurt a bit from being knocked back by Charlie, so I think he's just using... So you think Dexter genuinely likes Charlie? Yeah, or is I do. Or his little... No, I do game? think he likes her. It is 
quite his type, to be honest. Brunette, pretty, bit of banter. Some of the blondes. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, would we see a different side of Dexter if Callum left tomorrow? 100%, yeah. I think when there's arguments in the house, it obviously creates a really bad atmosphere, and I just think he'll be more lively and more bantery and just be the funny guy that I know him to be. And what about you, Karis? If uh, Dexter left tomorrow, how, what would we see from Callum, do you think? I think we'd literally see the relief, like, fall in his face. He would just, you'd just feel that because he had constant fights the whole time in there. And at the moment, Dexter's is a lot more intense. And he's loud, he's bubbly, yeah. he is being himself. Yes, he was quiet when he first went in. Isn't everyone or most people? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a culture shock, isn't it? You go in there, you've got so many big characters and you're just like, whoa. And his VT being thrown into the equation, yeah. which he's openly admitted isn't true. He is a nice lad, a nice local lad. If he hadn't have done that, he wouldn't be in the house now. So he's already a winner in our eyes because he got on the show and that's what he wanted and by Dexter going, he would just be fun, loud, lively, like the Callum Wee. Less highly no. strung. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I just think it is, it Callum is being Well, as himself. he said, he's, under, he's got under his skin, yeah. hasn't he? And I'm pleased, and we are pleased, to see that actually he is giving some back now because he was yeah. just taken and taken and taken. And we're sitting there really frustrated going, no, that's not Callum. Callum's not like that. Callum would give it back, and Callum has got an opinion and a very strong mindset of what he wants and what he thinks. So I'm glad that Callum is giving it back to Dexter. OK, uh, let's move on to the twins. Um, so it's the second time that they're facing eviction tomorrow, and they've predicted that they are going to be up every single week now from now on. Um, do you think they're giving up, Laura? No, I'm not, I don't think they're giving up, because like, on tonight's episode, there was back to themselves laughing and joking and... But I think where they're young, it just knocked their confidence a bit, especially as people had been saying, oh, you're going to get to the final. Not yeah. that I think they believe that, but I think it was just a bit of a shock. Do you, does, does it um, affect them very much? Um, you know, sometimes they hear that, that some people like one of them more than the other one. That can't be easy to hear, I would imagine. No, it's probably not easy to hear, but everyone's opinion's different, so it probably equals out in the end anyway. Yeah. Um, we saw them pitted against each other in uh, the shopping <laughs> task. Their outfits were just oh, sensational. Funny, <laughs> um, and we saw them get really feisty. So is this a new side to them that we're seeing, or is this, like, the norm at no, home? that's the norm. Is this, that's what they're like? They are like that, yeah. They get close to the mark, but they, they know it's just banter in the end. But if someone was watching, you'd think, oh, my God. They really do, <laughs> don't they? Yeah, I but they know, like, like... I'm glad I haven't got a twin yeah. like that. That's really harsh. <laughs> yeah, no, but they know that at the end, it's all just a joke. OK, uh, let's move on to Hazel, Ali. Um, in her own words, she said that she's bored of the house and that she wants to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think, if she stays tomorrow night, that she could still win it? Yes, I definitely think so. Some people mightn't agree, but uh, I definitely think she could because she's such a nice person. And I think what she means thing about work, you know, she has heard through the task that the public don't really like her. And she went in there for a reason. She wanted to come out and have a name for herself and work here. She works really hard in Ireland. And she's not just a model, she's a businesswoman. She has plans. There's things she wants to do. And I think she's bored senseless in there. And that's nothing to do with the people. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning and she's running around all the time. It's mm. what she does. So to be in a situation like that, I think she's dreaming of work while most people are probably glad to have the break i think she's dying to just get out yeah. and just just do her best what she does best which there is, is a lot of downtime in there so i would imagine i think she's bored out of her mind generally a very busy person yeah must be quite like, hard. she's either organizing photo shoots or she's going to events it's yeah. that kind of thing so i think she's finding that difficult okay very quickly down the line who should go tomorrow I'd love to say Charlie, but as she's not up, it will have to be Dexter. Definitely. <laughs> okay. I agree with Charlie, I agree too. I think she's been quite sly and no one's really seen it yet, but even in the episode tonight when Dexter and Hazel were talking, she kind of slid in there and started chatting to them as well, so I kind of wish she just was up. She appears from nowhere, yeah, doesn't she? she's been playing a little game. Do you think? I was going to say Callum, but I think just to keep him in there would be just pure entertainment, so I'm going to say Hazel. Okay. Hazel or Callum? Hazel or Callum? And very quickly? I'm going to say Callum, obviously. <laughs> OK. Uh, one thing's for certain, somebody is going to be leaving tomorrow. Uh, time now to go back to a, a happier time when this week's nominees met AJ before they entered the sordid world of secrets and lies. So what exactly is the game plan? If I can go in there with people thinking that 
I am the scumbag and walk out the people's hero, then I've done my job. Do you reckon you'll be the most attractive person in there? No way. I've got a massive forehead. You can play Glastonbury on it and two little Chinese twiglet arms. Would you get with anyone? I don't really think there's going to be a lot of fitties in there this year. I think they're all going to have face like robbers' dogs. <laughs> Sex or chocolate? Sex. Love and money? Money. Front door or back door? Back door. <laughs> Long... Back door lover? Long thin or short and wide? Long and thin, if I'm honest. <laughs> I think you're going to win. You've really cheered me up, by the way. Oh. Honestly. Big Brother is a fan of face-to-face -face nominations. How do you reckon yeah. you'll deal with that? People kind of get shaky and they start kind of trying to find the really softly, softly reason. I don't want to nominate you, but I have to, but it's part of the game. Tell me an interesting fact about you. I used to be a lifeguard and I've saved people's lives. And how many people can you kind of meet that have saved people's lives, literally? How attractive are you out of ten? <sighs> I let you answer that. What's your best impression? Jim Carrey. from the mask, I know you're saying it. Bored or just boring? Bored. Long, thin or short and wide? Long, thin. Milk or cream? Milk. Lights on or lights off? Lights on. You are well king, kick yes. I knew it! I've got a really good feeling about you. I genuinely think you're going to win. Hazel. Yeah. Which of these three housemates most relate to you? Game player, everybody's friend, or the loud mouth? I would have to say game player. Yes. So you're yes. single and you are well up for mingling. Absolutely, I'm in a really good position now to kind of have a bit of fun. You know what I mean? Why not? Sex or chocolate? Ooh, sex. Good or bad? <laughs> bad. First or second? First. Front door or back door? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Long and thin or short and wide? Short and wide. Salty or sweet? Sweet. How do you think you could win? Oh, wow. Do you I say mean... that to them all? What's the most interesting thing about you? Jack pooed himself on a diet. Oh, no, that's not interesting. That's embarrassing. Why did you say that? How attractive are you out of ten? Oh, I don't want to say it. Ten? No. Um, four. 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 Don't put yourself down. Exactly. Six Do slash it. seven, I'm Six slash seven. Six oh, slash love seven. Love me. <laughs> Hot or cold? Hot. Hot. Cold. cold. Salty or sweet? Sweet. sweet. Walk or run? Walk. Walk. Yeah. Run. Don't take the meat. Run. Don't embarrass us on camera. Run. <laughs> I've done that since it's seven. Lights on or lights off? On. Oh, I don't get what that means, but no. it's oh. sexual, Joe. <laughs> I think you're going to win. You're going to smash it. in here. You should know the score by now. Each housemate will have 60 seconds of debate, so you better be quick with the answers because when we hear this noise... <coughs> time's up. We're going to move on to... The... Oh, there's lots of stuff down there. Uh, we're going to move on to the next. Okay, first up, it's Dexter. Let's start that clock. Um, okay. What can he do to save himself, Emma, tomorrow night? I know that I think he's absolutely safe, Dexter. Yeah. Do you? Okay, yes, yeah. I do. He, he's, he's the mover and the shaker in yeah. the house. Um, he, he's definitely winning in the fight with Callum, um, who we'll get to in a minute. But I, I think he's, he's playing a perfect game in the house. I think he's great and he should stay. Yeah. Tom, do you think the feud is helping or hindering? Um, I think it's helping him because I think Callum looks like the bad one. He's been slightly malicious and I think Dexter's actually holding his tongue with Callum. So I think he's coming out looking quite well from it. OK, what do you guys think? Yeah. 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 Has everyone forgot that, girl, that Dexter has a girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. He's playing the same game as ha Hazel, but That's why is it different? Yeah, different. Yeah. No, he said it's over, but when he went into the house, he's with, he was with he's Charlotte. Her name was Charlotte. He's he's Charlotte. So he came on the show. got Charlie who's hugging. Uh, she knows that Dexter fancies her. She knows that uh, Callum fancies her. And she's going around hugging them. Yeah. And there's nothing being said at all. But if Hazel done it, they'd all want to hang her, you know? <laughs> that was so... Per it's like she had an earpiece in it. She knew exactly what was going on. Uh, let's talk about Hazel. Let's start the clock. Now, she's, uh, she's been up for eviction oh. twice now. Yes. Um, Emma, is she going to survive Oh, tomorrow? I'm telling you now. Lock her in a room with a bottle of wine, some chocolate spread and Charlie, and they'll les it up. <laughs> Wrestling. They're always wrestling. They so want each other. Oh. <laughs> I'm so... I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted. disgusted. 
you said on the show. I'm and disgusted a big brother or a bit on the side <laughs> audience. <laughs> my, my, hear, my work here is complete. <laughs> towards the other housemates are going to affect her chances? No, because she's still nice to them. I mean, I think it's quite surprising. I think it's going back to what I said. She likes to be centre of attention so she gets frustrated because you see her with the twins or with Callum and Sam. Like, she's fine with them. I think she just gets frustrated. Oh. Perfect timing again. Um, OK, let's move on to the twins. Start the clock. Um, Tom, why have they lost their confidence, do you think, in, in uh, getting to the final? Well, they've barely been saved, like, the times they're off. They're sort of always borderline. Um, I think they've realised that their sort of playful shtick isn't really working I with the housemate. I love it's it. Boring. It's boring. Although when they're in the pool, it's they're like The only things. funny thing is that... The, I love no, them. The only, I love them. I can watch them all day. The only funny laugh. thing is that they're one of... They're all talking at once. The only <laughs> funny thing <laughs> is that one of them looked like Freddie Mercury tonight, but yeah. bloated. That's the only funny thing they've done. Really? They're not funny. They they're, they're good in the tasks. Emma, what's, what's they're, they're, good in the task. they're good in the tasks. They're good in the tasks. But other than that, they're sort of like beige beanbags. Yeah. yeah. You, you do what sort of you miss them a bit. You what about lose you? them a bit. I think they're trying too hard to be funny. Yeah. That it's just coming across as annoying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I find them naturally quite, quite amusing. I don't think they are trying. They're just naturally nice young people just getting on with things. I don't think. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. You're having a conversation together. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies. <laughs> about Callum. Oh um, Emma, yes. why does yes. he keep getting nominated? Mad Eye Moody, that's his proper name. <laughs> if, I was in a, if I was in a house with him, I would have a permanently watery bowel. <laughs> uh, if, he, if he came into the room, if he came into the room, I would go and stand in the corner like the end of Blair Witcher Project. <laughs> he literally sends chills through really? every pore of my body. He's really got under your skin yeah. as well, is, hasn't he? He is creepy. He's, he's, uh, he's really thing, creepy. Big Brother needs to take the knife away from him. I, yes. like, fear for oh, the housemates. Come on. Really, like, he's that crazy. He's crossing the line there. Um, Tom, why is, is Sam his only ally? Um, I don't think they've actually connected with anything else, so I think it's actually a force of habit now. They have to stay with each other, because that's the only alliance they've got. And I think Sam is the only one that will put up with his 12-hour monologues without walking away. <laughs> Do we have Callum fans in the audience? Yes. Yeah. 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 This man has the prettiest eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, still to come, yeah. who do you want to go tomorrow? Well, Callum, because he, he's the least one I like, but in, in terms of the house dynamic and for the show, probably the twins. Twins, yeah. twins, or, twins or Callum? I'd say Callum, definitely Callum. 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 I've got no idea. They're shouting a load of words and I'm just not listening. Uh, still to come, we've got all the latest gossip from the house, plus Ashley... She's going to be going in the camera runs. Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side, where we have been dodging irons all day because the main show just keeps trying to straighten us out, but it's never going to happen because we're just too quick at stealing their exclusives. Do you want proof? Here's today's news. At 11.51 this morning, Dexter and Hazel had a quick chat in the bedroom. He's not shy. I didn't realise he'd, he'd kind of go like that in front of you. But when people keep launching like that, it actually makes them look worse, if you know what I mean. It really does. And the triangle only disappeared because people are not looking for a triangle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I and there was no triangle in the first place. Well, it was just two people, with. that like one girl. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And your board is fucking here and there's nothing else to do. Yada, yada, yada. And like I said, we all know that we'll just have, we'll, we'll pursue things outside and that's what I said. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm, I am being true to myself. Yeah. Well, there it is, straight from the horse's mouth. There was never a love triangle, which is great. Now we can all stop talking about it. Um, at 4.50 this afternoon, Big Brother got political with the latest task where housemates up for eviction were given a platform to launch their campaign. Here's what the twins have to say. 
Hi everyone. Hi everyone, we're Team Jack and Joe, and we are Twins, Twins for the Win, win. having and a screen in, in BB13. We'll start off with the person who we think should be evicted, no offence Carter, Dexter Co, Dexter No. Dexter Co, Dexter, Dexter no. no. Like, I ain't being funny, like, if all you think about is the outside and money and the contracts, <sighs> stop. Sorry but, um, yeah, and just money comes up a lot. Jack and I feel from observing sometimes, <laughs> and uh, I've had, had more, more careers, careers than, than I've had, had hot dinners. dinners. Now Jack and I have had a hell, a hell of, of a lot of hot dinners, dinners. but God, you've had some careers, lad, didn't you? Careers. You are a nice guy, and imagine you're nicer on the outside. But in here, for us, you're not the right choice. So of everyone that should go, we think it should be you this week. Unfortunately, Dexter Co. Dexter we no. think it's a Dexter now. Wow. And Dexter Co is a Dexter No. What will you decide? When Dexter got his chance to take over the podium, things really heated up. I'm going to start with me. My campaign poster, I said to save Dexter's dream because so far being here, it's, it's been a dream. I never thought I'd get past week one. I think you should evict Callum because... He thinks that he's amazing. He's the person with a hidden agenda. He calls himself deceptively intelligent. I just call him deceptive. He's here with a long-term plan, okay? And he's clearly here for this reason, which is the money. I should have gone for it a bit more, shouldn't I? Rather than being nice. But you will stay and I will go. I don't think so, Callum. Not an issue. Not a problem. You will stay and I will go. I show my true colours. People are yet to see When I go, you, and I, you say you can do this. If I you won't. want to, I really don't I mind. I will go, you will stay. Batman's nothing without the Joker. Superman's nothing without Lex Luthor. You're the villain of the picture and you will stay because you're entertaining. I'd watch you. I'd watch you. I'd enjoy watching you. Being on the receiving end of you you're is different to watching you. So Dexter is the Lex Luthor to his Superman. So does that mean Charlie is Lois Lane? No. <laughs> That's today's news. OK, let's head back to Camden for the final time to see if the VT team have pulled themselves together. I doubt it. Um, so, who's your... Do you have a least favourite? Uh, probably Hazel. Right, OK. And yeah. just not keen on Hazel, no, want her out next. Yeah. Cool. And um, have you been enjoying the Secrets and Lies theme? Yeah. Any particular moments that stand out? No, not really. Just, I just like it. Brilliant. Well, some strong opinions here in Camden. Um, back to you in the studio, Emma. Wonderful. Uh, right, let's head up to the camera runs. Ashley's up there waiting to give us all the gossip. Look, they're behind you. It's so weird seeing it in the flesh. It's so funny. <gasps> Is it? Yeah, Gina has got the most amazing legs I've ever seen. They're gorgeous, aren't they? She's got good legs. Uh, what's happening up there, Ashley? Well, Callum and Charlie have been explaining puberty to Sam, and Sam has been winding Charlie up, saying that she has a beard. <gasps> Really? Yes. Oh, what else? How bizarre. What, what else? Charlie and Callum have been having a deep and meaningful, surprisingly, yeah. and Carly has said that, uh, Charlie, sorry, has been saying that she feels a bit guilty for nominating him. Oh, OK. Um, Ashley? Yes? Do you think we could ever get you to go in that house? I'd actually really like Ooh. to go on just to see how I react with people, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think one reality show is enough for now. <laughs> Um, well, you keep looking, I will. and we'll catch up with you soon. See you later. Thanks, bye. Oh, she's Aww. so sweet. Ian. Hello. We've got about a minute and 15 seconds. OK. So, you just say what you want. Right, first of all, look at this. You know in the VT earlier, when uh, viewers asked questions to Dexter, and one of them was, why do you never wash your onesie? Yeah. Well, straight out of the dye room, he started washing his onesie. Well, good. We have affected reality. So Congratulations, all involved. Seven weeks. Seven weeks and later. And you haven't washed your onesie that you wear every single day. He's making up for it now. Mr. Grubby Pants. Yes. Yeah. Um, online, tomorrow, eviction. Yep. There is an eviction tomorrow. <laughs> You're uh, as good as me tonight. So, you? Uh, we asked people uh, for messages of support. Uh, it was difficult because no one likes any of the housemates. But <laughs> Esther Tozin said, Callum is a nice, misunderstood guy and he's the only one in the house who's considerate of Sam's hearing problems, yep. so he should stay. Uh, Kimberly Cove said, Dexter to stay, most entertaining and also much misunderstood. Right. Uh, Rachel Stevens, not that one, 
Different oh, Rachel Stevens, unfortunately. I was going to say. Uh, I think Hazel should win because she doesn't let people stand in her way and she's a good person inside. Team Hazel. And 1D Union J Star says, I think Jack and Joe should stay because they bring the laughter in the house from their arguments, jokes and silliness. I just love them. There you go. You mm. found a positive one for everybody. Yay. Good work. There's live uh, feed right. online till two. OK, brilliant. That's all we've got time for tonight, though. Thanks to all of my guests. AJ and Rylan, you'll be very pleased to hear, are back tomorrow where they'll be grilling the latest evictee with the help of Big Brother Twilight Louise. Oh, gosh, yeah, and yeah. Vanessa Feltz. Gosh, yeah, plus, yeah. Detective Dan's going to be back. Good night. Oh, yeah.